College students talk a lot about politics, but historically, they don't vote as much as older adults. Ariana Gonzalez talked with some of them about the election. Typically, students attending colleges outside of their voter precincts would vote via a mail-in ballot in the state of North Dakota. But some students feel that the process to get one can be time-consuming, and they would have voted in this election if it had been a faster process. They should make it a little bit more easier for people, like especially college students our age, to um, be able to vote. Reactions towards this year's election have varied in sentiment around the states, from relief to indifference to disappointment. Some students have been speculating about what could have given President-elect Donald J. Trump the win. The Democratic voter turnout was horrible, too, um, because of because I feel like the Democratic Party was trying to shift more rights mm -hmm. to um, appeal to more voters, and it obviously didn't work. So A common sentiment shared by some of the students was confusion about the measures proposed on the statewide ballot. I know about measure four and five. Those are the ones that my class discussed, but I'm not familiar uh, if there was another one, two, and three. Uh, but as for measure four and five, um, four, I'm not, uh, I believe that is about property taxes. All three students were more familiar with Measure 5, which would have legalized the usage of recreational marijuana for people 21 and over. In Bismarck, I'm Mariana Gonzalez, reporting for your News Leader.